Okay. Hi, Vern. I'm doing four of these in a row. So I just did Get Out seconds ago. Um, Christ, what did I watch? Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, I also watched Last Call. Um, let's talk about gimmicks. Uh, Last Call is interesting in that it's not a bad movie. I like it a lot. Um, but its main selling point is the gimmick. Uh, that it is a long one-shot movie, um, uh, as in, like, one long take or whatever. Technically two takes, um, the, the Last Call has two gimmicks and it's, it's barrel, and that it's, uh, two long shot one takes, um, and the whole movie's told in split screen, um, because the movie is just, essentially just a long phone conversation between two people, um, kind of like my dinner with Andre, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm still very sick. Um, uh, obviously one-shot movies have been done before. There is, like, uh, there's Birdman, obviously, and then, um, there's a few other ones. I'll show screenshots or whatever, um, to illustrate a point, because I didn't bother looking them up before I started filming, because I'm an idiot. There's also that one really long Russian one. Or I think it takes place in Russia or whatever. That's super interesting. Uh, where it's all one huge take and it's a giant period period piece with like 600 people. That's cool. Um, but yeah, Last Call is kind of a tragic, kind of like really interesting gimmick movie in that it's um, uh, a phone call between two people. Uh, this man who is um, drunk himself into a stupor and is depressed and he's considering suicide. And he calls a suicide helpline, and um, this is not funny, but it is like in like a, a cosmic sense, like very tragic. Uh, he gets the wrong number, ends up accidentally calling this janitor who's working overnight at a um, college, um, and she's worried about like letting him go um, because she doesn't want to kill him to kill himself because she's a good person. So she tries to like play uh, like suicide counselor to this guy um, via the phone. Uh, and, like, he's he's too drunk, um, he's too depressed, like, uh, so he's, she's, like, slowly losing him, um, it's a tragic film, um, as the conversation goes on, you get more and more of his backstory, uh, his drinking problem, uh, how he broke up his family, everything, uh, and she tries to relate to him, it's, it's just a long conversation, it's really, um, uh, it's a sad film, uh, I think it's interesting, I like it a lot, um, but the whole movie is built really around these two gimmicks of like just it being a, a one take or one shot and the split screen. And the split screen is used actually really interesting. Um, I, I adore it. Um, there's some moments of synchronicity that are like, I cannot imagine how hard that was to um, plan and um, execute. Where I really love, um, uh, there's like shots that like mirror each other where they're They'll both have their backs to the camera at the same time as they're walking down hallways, or um, uh, they're both seeing each other, their own reflections. It, there's a lot of really beautiful shots like that. Um, I will say it, the issues come uh, with just logistical, uh, logistical problems where one character will have to be doing something and the other character her, um, won't have anything to do in that space, so they're sort of just vamping. Uh, that happens a lot where she's moving from her in the room or she's on the computer like trying to find him help or like um get in contact with like the police or something or try and get his his address out of him but like he he's uh he's too inebriated to like really be helpful in his own uh, way um so a lot of times she'll be like on the computer and he'll be like rambling on or sometimes she'll be like on the phone with someone else because she's like she'll call like a hotline or 911 or whatever and he sort of doesn't have a lot to do so he'll just be vamping or like just holding the phone there and like uh, <laughs> uh so they're kind of like the weaker moments um it, where the 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 problem really shines through oh and the very beginning um there's a really there's some awkward bits uh, where they don't really, because before they get to a phone conversation, um, they're experiencing their own nights or whatever, and, uh, the audio will awkwardly, cuts out from one side 
um, and turns on to the other, so you know they don't overlap. And can, but it, it's kind of jarring. Uh, I don't know that the correct solution there would have been. I. Uh, I don't know. Maybe be more awkward to um, not synchronize them or whatever. But <clears throat> I don't know if that was the correct like way of going about that. Was the the audio cut out. Um, Ooh, there's some things I really like uh, with the split screen because uh, the split screen starts widescreen, so you have uh, him on top, her on the bottom, and uh, part way through the split screen rotates to left right, and like it, it's shockingly like synchronized their motions, so like it's not obtrusive at all, so it like, sort of flows with it. It's really lovely. Um, and later on, the split screen cuts again to top bottom, and then finally left right again. But like they swap positions, it's really interesting. Um, I, I'm a big fan of this kind of experimental thing. Um, if you watch the trailer for this film, fucking they really, they really wanted to hammer home. It's like, hey, check out this thing we did uh, with the split screen and the one take, which is like they did it well. We should be proud of that. But I think the movie is good enough on its own that like they didn't need to. I don't know. Um, it's fairly well acted. Um, God, what's her name? She really, uh, you really see her against like a panic um, as the, the movie goes on, and she realizes that like uh, he's drunk, he's taking some pills. She doesn't know like what to do because she can't get his address or his full name out of him. So she's like trying to solve his mystery, trying to get him help, uh, and he's just so far gone he can't really, he can't be help himself. Um, uh, it, it's a, I like it a lot. It's a sad. Interesting, fun little, or not fun. <laughs> no, I'm just fun. It's fun to see this kind of um, thing. Um, it's a sad, interesting, uh, creatively done movie. I like it a lot. Um, last call. Let's go. Four point five out of five. I realize now I gave I gave it a slightly higher score than Get Out. Um, I guess I'll give Get Out a four point five out of five too because I, I objectively Get Out was a better movie, but. Um, I don't, these numbers don't mean anything. What do you care? Uh, bye, Vern. <laughs>